enjoy our conversation with the Tansy Moors who were here with the real South Africa enjoying South Africa. Here is part one. Enjoy. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Hope all everybody is well. And we are live here at what we like to call the real South Africa. Travel and tourism. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to get several people um, on this live so they can ask questions, you know, find out what's going on. And then, of course, we have some special guests here as well. We have a guest that came here with the Real South Africa. So we want you guys to get their, you know, their first impressions of South Africa for sure. Uh, so definitely stay tuned, you know, definitely for that. What else you, what else you think, Natasha? Um, I'm thinking that I want to thank everybody for allowing us to get to 35K. That was a big... What's 35K? What's 35,000 subscribers. <laughs> subscribers. Um, so thank you guys. Continue to like, share, and subscribe so that we can continue to give you guys the content as it relates to travel and tourism here in South Africa. And of course. And, uh, and you guys, you know, you guys know that we are a travel and, and tourism company. So what we try to do is to bring to you guys direct, um, you know, what's going on here in South Africa as far as tourism is concerned. Because I know a lot of you guys in the U.S. Um, don't know what's going on. There's so much going on, but you you never see about it. You never hear about it. You don't hear anything from the tourism bureaus. You don't hear anything except maybe some things you might see on YouTube um, and so forth. So, but we do understand that, yeah. And that's why we put we we are you know. Uh, expats from the U.S. and we live here obviously in Johannesburg, South Africa and so we felt that there was a need so we wanted to bring that to you. So let me let me show you this because this is what we do. Come and visit beautiful Cape Town. Be a tourist in the city of gold, Johannesburg. Enjoy the warm water of the Indian Ocean in Durban. Interact with wildlife on a private game reserve, luxury five-star hotels, and of course, world-class spas. Contact The Real South Africa today for your African adventure. So you guys see what we do, and I'm sure you guys got comments. I'm sure you guys are thinking, wow, they actually do these types of things. We actually do, and we do it at, we do it at a high level. So like I said, we really appreciate all the people that are that are actually, um, you know, have taken part in our a journey, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely been a journey. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have heard our story, but for those of you that have not, our journey started back in 2010 for him, 2011 yeah. for our family. And it just became, you know, a pull for us to visit South Africa as often as we could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it was interesting because, like I said, people... You know, it's funny because our story started so long ago. It wasn't like we just discovered South Africa last week, came to South Africa, because um, when we came, there was nothing in place. There was no like, OK, who do you call? What do you do? You just you either went on a, uh, a safari because that's basically I think they, that's all they basically mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. sell us. And then, of course, we um, we um, what a, oh, so, yeah, so we came here and we was like, you know, we would love to see our people coming to South Africa properly, you know, being able to enjoy all the things that that's here every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it's not just safari, which is yeah. why we were so taken back. Even though we like safari. I do. I love a good safari. <laughs> I love a good safari. For those of you that are on the fence about safaris, you have to go before you say you don't like it. And mm -hmm. then once you go, you'll say you actually will like it. I've not had one person, yeah. not one, that we we'll ask these Tansy Moors. I know, me. right? We'll ask them. We, I, mean, I had one person that went on a game drive that didn't want to go, that came back and was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I almost missed that." So, outside of that, um, we were being shown what we call the real South Africa, which is everyday life for people here in South Africa, things that they had access to, things that they enjoyed that we know for a fact our people would enjoy. So, yeah. we started to. Um, take all of that in, visit as often as we could. And now we share those things with our travelers. Yeah. 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 And we, of course we do things, you know, to the best, you know, uh, 
you know, professional because we were professionals, you know, before we got here. So, you know, it kind of reflects and what and how we do business on this side. Um, you know, like I said, us being professionals in the U.S. for all those years, you know, being business people, owning companies and things along that line. It was very easy for us to, to look at this from a perspective of, you know, how can how can we take this 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 niche market to the you know to the US consumers and say hey this is what you know, this is what's available because to be honest with you I think a lot of this was geared towards the European crowd 100%. Yeah. That's and, what we found. And and it's still kind of that way to be honest. I mean, it's not that they are completely ignoring the North American market. However, um, the way they do their marketing a lot of it falls on deaf ears, meaning it falls on deaf on our ears. So, you know, we're here to kind of fill a gap to kind of yeah. make sure that you know what's available, know what's real, know what's honest. And because we are boots on the ground, that definitely gives you a sense of security and lets you know that we are, you know, legit when we say the things that we do say. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what have we been doing lately? Ah, we've been all <laughs> over the place. We've been all over the place. Yeah, I just came back from Cape Town just this morning. I went yesterday and yeah. I came back this morning. And I think tomorrow we're going to... Tomorrow we're heading back to the bush. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Going, <laughs> we're going back to, to the bush. Back to Mpumalanga. Yeah. Um, that's where we'll be for the next couple of days. Um, and the good thing about that is that we do have packages to Mpumalanga already. You guys are welcome to go check those out. Um, we have a video that's up that we've done recently about Mpumalanga. Just want to shed some more light on some of the other provinces here in South Africa. Let you know that if you truly want to... A, a bush experience, not just a safari, which mm -hmm. we do take you on for a full day, but a proper bush experience. Um, South Africa does offer that at a very high level. And of course, we have the opportunity to bring that to you. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, my favorite thing, one of my favorite things to do is to go to the bush. Um, eventually, if you go back, like Tasha said, and watch, I think the, the last video that we we have out, um, I kind of, I'm putting like three or four videos together talking about the bush because I want, and so you can see it for yourself. Um, Cause I, I know our people and I think if they see these types of offerings, they'll be like, you know what? I want to do that. That is, that is something that's special. And it's, and I think they'll want to do it because everyone um, will have to admit that, you know, when we say go on safari, go on bush, you are thinking camping. Like you don't have another <laughs> idea other than I'm going to be sleeping outside in a tent and yeah. a, and a um, what's those sleeping bag? Like the yeah. sleeping bag. It's not that kind the of experience. bugs flying around your head, and you're trying to <laughs> no, figure it out. <laughs> no, it's no, it's nothing like that. Um, it's really just like being in a proper hotel or uh, apartment or anything that you would think is comfortable or home. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's out in the middle of I won't say the woods because it's not really the woods. Like what is it? It's what the, is it? Well, they call it the high veil and the low veil here in in South Africa and the bush veil. Bushville, yeah. yeah Blossville, or what, yeah, something Bush along those lines that I can't say. But yeah. nevertheless, there's trees around and there's animals. Yeah, and it's, it's actually a really good experience. So that's why we, we've we been there many times. And, and now we're going to put a little bit more emphasis on, on getting you guys, you know, out there and whatnot. So um, also, too, we got a couple other things that are going on. Like people are always asking, what are you guys doing? You know, um, I, one thing I want to say, I, 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 we really appreciate a lot of the South Africans, no matter where we go, from Richards Bay to other parts of KZN to Eastern Cape to especially all over Hauteng and Northwest. They see us in the streets and they say, hey, we're South Africa. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So very sweet, very welcoming, very warm, very grateful, uh, just like we are of them. Yeah, yeah. So we really appreciate their support because... A lot of times they see our people coming through and they're like, oh, the real South, they must be here with the real, you know, South Africa. So we really, we really appreciate that. And they, they always, you know, compliment us on the work we're doing, you know, for South Africa, bringing the tourists here and bringing good people um, such as the, the, the people that you're going to meet shortly, the, the, the Tansy Moors um, that came here with us. So but yeah, so we've been we've been doing that. And then, of course, of course, we did the. Um, the real estate tour 2022 yeah and back by popular demand there's the real estate <laughs> tour 2023 yeah. um the dates have been picked it's november 17th through the 27th 2023 i understand it is over a holiday that you yeah. guys sometimes covet but i promise you spending a holiday away from the family 
will absolutely blow your mind away if you get a chance to come on this real estate tour. Everyone loved it last year. Yeah, they did. They fell in love with it. And yeah. for their Thanksgiving, quote unquote, um, they got to be in the bush and have this huge uh, boma, which they loved. And I think boma is like a let's explain a boma tour. You want me to explain the boma? A boma is this. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, uh, in this case, it was out in the out in the bush with you know where the animals are. Yeah. Um, you know, animals are running around and you know, giraffes and whatnot. But inside there, they had a big fire going yeah, on, and then of course they had all the food that you can possibly want set up for you. It was it was extremely nice. We really we really appreciated the fact that we was able to uh, uh, introduce you know, some African-Americans to this, you know, situation. Mm -hmm. And once we introduced it to them, they was like, whoa, this was, this was literally over the top. They didn't really expect it. And the fact was a lot of them wasn't really interested in going At until all. they got out there. And then when they got out there and they got their first um, game drive under their belt, mm -hmm. You know, you'll hear Mark say that they were like all looking at their phones, like not paying attention. Then the first thing that pops up is a giraffe and they're all like glued to the side of the truck, taking pictures. Um, and it was funny for us because we had we had watched the whole journey and the transition of them, you know, not being interested to literally going on as many game drives as they could in that three day period. There's two a day and some of them went on every single one that they could. Even the morning that they were departing, they went on another <laughs> another game. Drive. Yeah, just before so. they left. So it was pretty good. And I think like right now, you know, because we, we did, we, you know, for everybody to communicate, we, we did a WhatsApp group. And, um, you know, normally we would, you know, shut that WhatsApp group down once you leave because it's just another space that we need to get rid of. But we kept it open and, you know, they, they became friends. They didn't know each other when they got here. They mm -hmm. became friends. They're, they're, they're close. It yeah, seems like they're pretty yeah. close. Um, you know, they have a shared experience of South Africa. And then since then, I think we, we did one interview with um, uh, Matt. Matt. Yeah, Matt Harris, yeah. Harrison. And uh, he came back and it was only like four months, five months. He came back. Yeah. And uh, so he's making his way. There were several people who actually, you know, purchased home, mm -hmm. homes. Yeah, like literally purchased homes. They, they, they bought land. Mm -hmm. um, they, they put their name down on particular plots or, or we call them stands. So it, the, the real estate tour did a, did a whole lot in it. I think the biggest thing was they got orientated to mm -hmm. South Africa. Yes. You know, it's not like all day you're doing, yeah. you know, home stuff. Because in the evening, you can go do whatever you want. And so they went and enjoyed themselves. They did a little nightlife. Some of this stuff I'm finding out after they don't got back. I know it. I was yeah. like, y'all did what? <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? That's why you couldn't get up the next morning. Yeah. Now I know what was actually going on, but it's all good. They had a great time, uh, built some bonds, like Mark said. Um, so if you have the opportunity and the time and the and the desire to come and, you know, look at the investment market, look at the real estate market, look and see what, opportunities exist in that market for yourself you know go to the website book the real estate tour it's definitely something that um was successful before and is gearing up to be successful again we've got a lot of new properties yeah. um, a lot of new estates that we're going to be looking at lots of lock up and goes um lots of other investment types of properties that um that i think that a lot of people will be interested in yeah so it's, it's really going to be good so if we, you know obviously um, we have a limited amount of people that can come on it because we we want to give everybody that the people that is coming the opportunity to, to talk one on one with the real estate agents and 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 all the, uh, the 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 real estate professionals at those at those estates. So that's the real estate piece and whatnot. Now <laughs> we got another thing coming up for you guys as well. Another offering um, which is going to be. Um, we call it a we call it the the, the our driver's experience. Let me <laughs> let me show you what it's gonna look like. That's what it's gonna look like, and it's gonna be amazing. I'm only telling you. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing, and that's gonna happen in January of 2024. Yeah, of 2024. So you, you can go to our website and find that as well. Um, we're going to be driving them AMGs. We're going to be driving those Jaguars and we're going to be doing Land Rovers. So anybody can come um, you can sign up for that as well. Um, you know, we you know, South Africa has so much to offer and just the basics. You no, know, not, not the basic stuff, but, you know, we only scratch the surface a lot, you know, but we're here every day. So we get these offerings all the time. Hey, can you come out and check out this? Can you come check out that? And we do. And then we like, OK, does that is that something that we that, can share? That we can share 
with our people, you know, that you know, that would be interested. And of course, we're going to do it at a five star level anyway. You know, there's going to be you know, very, very nice hotels, very nice dinners. Um, the, the lunch is going to be awesome. The locations yeah. are going to be awesome. And all that is happening right here, you know, within, you know, South Africa and, and just about our packages in general. You know, and of course, you know, maybe the Tanzimores will, will will validate and verify, but we try to you know try to get things at a at a really good clip. Um, we don't want you coming all this way and 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 be like, man, I'm in I'm in I'm in a motel six. That that's just not gonna work. You know, we don't we don't do that. So but yeah, and then of course the dinners and everything, we want everything, you know, to work for you. So that's that's what we do. So now Without further ado, we have a couple here, right? Richard and Dion. Tanzimore. <laughs> Let me All introduce right. those guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah! <laughs> there you are. How you doing? Oh, oh are you guys on? Oh, there you are. Hold on. I didn't get your mic right. Oh, let me get your mic right. Is it? Why it, is it not doing it? Is your... Can't oh, there we go. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh. You can try to be mindful um, because uh, usually the host can unmute so that you don't get a lot of the background. So I was, I kept us on mute. But yeah. Hey. Hello. <laughs> you, how are you? Good. Good. We're very well. Thank you. How long have you guys been back now? Can you hear me? A month. A month. Okay. So, okay. So, how have you processed the last month since you guys have been back? It's been challenging. It's been challenging. Um, I will say for me, uh, the next day after we got back, we got back on a Saturday afternoon. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, that Saturday we were. Just unpacking and kind of decompressing a bit, resting. Then Sunday, I went out to make run a couple of errands, and I felt the difference. I could immediately feel the difference of being in South Africa for ten days and then being here for one day. And I was a wreck. I was emotional. I came back home. I was just weeping. I was just like, I get it. I get it. So we've been grappling with that feeling. For what over thirty days now, and it's it's been it's been difficult. It's really been difficult for us. Every day or every other day, there's a random conversation because we have some we remember something about the trip. We remember something happened in the day that triggers us, and we're just like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we talking about? What, what what about South Africa? Are we tracking those tonight? When we um, because yeah, this. This isn't cutting it. <laughs> so it's been, it's been rough. Thank you for that, though, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, do you have anything to add? Before you, before you add, it, it, see if you can get your your um, your mic a little closer. Uh, okay. Hang on. Just a little bit, and yeah. we will we will we will. We will and then I'll turn the volume up as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Hang this on. is. Good. I'm sure everybody in the room is like, okay. So okay. now, is that better? That's that's good. That's good. That's good. But we did understand what you were saying. You said you 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 was going through a stage of grief. I get it. Uh, yeah, yeah. My uh, but, but, Richard was over here consoling me in the kitchen. Like, get it. Like, uh, get pull yourself together. But he's like, I hope. I was hoping I wasn't gonna make him be emotional because he understood why I was like. I just didn't like the experience of going to. These Walmart and the CVS here, it just, it, it was like, a, I don't know, maybe an hour I was outside and I came back and I was just like, uh, 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 this place is stupid. I don't like it. She said, this place is stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, let, me, let me ask Richard because because basically you were talking about home. You said you don't, you don't, that's home. Yeah. Where did your sound go? Your sound is leaving us. It is. Yeah. It shouldn't. Um, I have it up. Can yeah, you hear me? 
<laughs> when you're that close, I can hear you perfectly. You can hear me? Okay. Well, let's, let's do that a little bit. Is that better? Uh, it we, keeps going out. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, you don't want to be that loud. It goes south. Yeah, that's all right. Is it there now? It just keeps, it's like muffled. I don't know what's going on. What do you, what do you know? Okay, can you hear it? Is it better? Yeah, that's that's fine, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, for, for me, um, I already kind of knew. You know, I watched y'all enough. You know, I was okay. like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go watch my family right now and um, let them, they're going to, they're going to, they going to help me get some more information. So, you know, my whole thing, even past trips, we was, I was always keep talking about South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait till we get to South Africa. Yeah. And, and it was exactly how you guys said. So speaking about your Motel 6, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's a lovely Motel 6, you know. The <laughs> Michael <laughs> Apartments, lovely Motel 6. You know? Um. I mean, it was just great, man. We got when we got in, you know, we got in. I think it was Peter that picked us up mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, he drove us through and we got to look around and stuff like that. And, you know, it was it was amazing to see that um, so many people, you know, for for people back home who thought that, you know, that is all. Like oh, you're thinking it's all just animals and, and and people riding around on zebras and stuff like that. And I was like, um, yeah, it's a lot of BMW zebras and a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Lamborghinis and Ferrari zebras. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it was good to go and experience it for ourselves to see it and to know that South Africa is is not all what they make it to be in the U.S. You know, the mm -hmm. U.S. got us thinking that it's just all bad, and and, and it's and and I'm here to tell y'all that it's it is wonderful, it is wonderful, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting trying to figure out before they try to close the doors on us. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, get a little closer. I don't know what's going on. I we heard him fine. Now we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Is that uh, why is it not on my voice? I don't know. I mean, oh, Richard, so clear. Maybe it's only turning Richard's voice. I guess so. Um, can you hear me? Is it okay? Oh. Uh, Rich is fine. Put on his lap. <laughs> so, so can you? So can you? You can hear me, right? Hey, you're yeah. just fine. You can hear me. Oh. You might have to speak for her. Over here. Is that does that help? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That helps. Okay, it must be the side that where that the mic is on. Um, what was I gonna say? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure. You were just talking about the 30 days and how so we make sure we wrap up that thought of the 30 days being back and how does that feel? And yeah. I told you, I told you I, I've, it's, it's caused a bit of anxiety because you're still grappling with the day-to-day -day of here's what you've spent so many years learning and knowing. And you, mm -hmm. thought, it was, you thought it was right. You thought it was okay, the, the mindset that you have. And so some of the things you mentioned, Mark, about when you do go to South Africa or just to the continent in general, you have to check yourself. You really yeah. got to check yourself. And um, when I say when I say that, that means the things that we buy into that I'm because I live over here, I'm better. Mm -hmm. We do a chase of get away from us because anytime there's more of us, that means it's not good. And to be constantly surrounded by beautiful people, beautiful places, beautiful things, it was overwhelming because we learn here we don't deserve anything good, right? Only one or two of us in the yeah, neighborhood, yeah. only one or two of us on the job. Only, you know, it can only be a couple of us in order for it to still be nice. When there's too many of us, it can't be. And I was just so blown away in a wonderful way 
um, being in South Africa, that it was just beautiful everywhere. And we're not just talking about the, the scenery, right? I'm talking about from how people were living, how they were moving about day to day. It was, and to be in, in the majority and you could, you could just be like, we, it's okay to have nice things. We do know how to take care of stuff. We do want more. It, it came, when we were coming back, I was like, I feel like we went backwards. Wow. <laughs> I, I feel like the mindset is dated. Um, it's still immature for us as a people. And we could really grow up if we come to the continent. We grow up. You, you mature. You become proud. Oh, you can't tell me nothing. You know, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I understand why there's a pride, you know, when anyone from the continent comes, goes anywhere, they ha there's a pride. And I, I, I attribute that to they are moving with the freedom that we will never know in the U.S. And it has nothing. It, your title doesn't matter here in the U.S. Your money doesn't matter. You're constantly reminded you don't matter. But yeah. there, no matter what level you're on you know you matter and you move with that arrogance. You move with that freedom because you it, it's just there. And that's part of the reason why I was weeping because I said, I get it. They, they have a freedom we don't even know. We just don't know. It's and I got, to, I got to sample that and that was, yeah. To, yeah. It's funny that you say they, they have a freedom because I look at it the same way you look at it as well, but their confidence Mm -hmm. of knowing who they are is also something that we won't ever really know either. Yeah. So you look at that in complete awe. You're like, man, yeah. that must be nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. That must be nice yeah. to just know. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, like, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. to be around that um, is a privilege for us every day. And I'm just grateful that you got to sample it and understand that, you know, yeah. you ha you got to be a part of it for a little while. Yeah. Got to be and they don't have to turn it off. No, no. no South African, no one from the country. They're not turning off who they are. Here, it's a constant switching of the, you know, you're, you're flipping the switch. You're, you're, yeah. you're always, and that's what I realized when I went out to run a few errands. I just slowly felt things rising like, oh, I'm getting prepared again because I was like, oh, is that a, a police officer behind me? And then I just went through my head of, Hey, do I have my license? Do I have this? Oh, my, my insurance. I was like, I think I have my insurance on my on an app on my phone, but I don't know the login. This was in my head in a 10 minute drive from one store to the next. And I was just like, this is stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> and I didn't realize how much you just do it. Going through the store, the grocery store was, it looked like it had been ransacked. And I just, I just said, wait a minute. Didn't we just come to you, back to the U.S. where we're supposed to have so much yeah. and it, yeah. everything? And I was like, what are we getting ready to do? Armageddon? Is there a storm coming? What happened that these shelves are empty? Because when I was in um, <laughs> Woolworths, there you go. <laughs> let me tell you, Woolworths, come on through Woolworths because Woolworths <laughs> is getting it done. I. Come back through, Richard. Come to the other side. Okay. Still can't hear you. Can you hear? Where'd you go? We're going to get it together. All right. Can I you know. hear me now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Me. Okay. We're going to get together. Um, so in the apartments, when, you know, of course, you, you guys know the apartments is linked to the, the, the mall. Mm -hmm. And when we first went downstairs, we was walking through the mall. That's how we wound up missing you guys for dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when we first went through the mall and we was looking, we was like, why is somebody pushing a cart through the mall? Until we went to Woolworths. And then when we went to Woolworths, we was like, oh, wait a minute. So we was getting some stuff to take back to the apartment. And we was like, oh, wait a minute. We're going to have to carry this all the way back to the apartment. And the mm -hmm. lady was like, oh, no, you can take the cart through the mall. We was like, through the mall? She was like, yeah, take it through the mall. Man, not only did we take the car, we took the car all the way back to the apartment. Yeah. We, we got so lost. Like, we, we got lost in the mall trying to get back to the apartment. So we wind up at the, the hotel side. And then uh, yeah. the police was like, oh, no, no, this side is closed. 
So then he told the guy, he said, uh, uh, take them to where the elevators at. He said, oh, you lost. And I said, he was like, yeah. He said, you're not lost no more. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And he took us. Up. See, it's that type of thing where somebody didn't point you in a direction. Yeah. This guy actually took us all the way to the apartment door. And mm-hmm. then we unloaded our groceries and he took the cart and he took it yeah. back. You know, I said, see, you're not getting that. No. You're not going to get that here, nowhere. So now when Dion talks, she always says, it's um bedtime at home. So we should be in bed right now, but yeah, <laughs> we over here in this other country. <laughs> we need to be back home where it's bedtime. Yeah. So you had a good experience that I I could I could take it that you had a good experience here yes. in South Africa. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The oldest two is they they once they saw apartments and they went to uh, oh they was at botanical gardens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they went to the botanical gardens um because they was you know they they they, 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 Ubering it. they was getting out they was getting out Ubering yeah. and going places and all that stuff so they was at the botanical gardens and. You know, you can see when they got back here, they was their wheels was turning. So they 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 thinking they was like, man, these apartments over there, we could we could get we can get a couple of those. So and yeah. they thinking and they thinking on how to get back and be like, oh, we need to buy property. Now you said that you you brought you have four children, yes. Yes. And you brought all four of them, and they yeah, range in ages from twenties to teenagers, right? Can you hear me? The twins are twenty-four. You can hear yeah. me. Right. The, yeah. the twins are twenty-four. Um, Daniel is fourteen, and Olivia is thirteen. Okay, so so the 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 twins were plan were plotting and planning. It sounds like. Yes, they went. Um, one went to a yeah. One went out to a club. He was with there some, you go. He was with some Vogue model or something. She took him out to a club, and um, the other one was at a rugby game one day. <laughs> he was at a rugby game. He did an interview at a rugby game, so they saw him. <laughs> they, they was like, "Hey, come on, we want to interview you." So he did an interview at a rugby game, and um, yeah, and they just was getting out. I mean, they were just he was they was clubbing at nighttime and. Going out and they just did their thing like they was, you know, like that was home. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So then I have to ask the question because this is something that Dion and I (laughs) talked about, and and she was worried about the structure of how the trip was set up. And I and I, but I'm I'm sure I assured you that they would find their way. Mm -hmm. That you didn't have to like everything didn't need to be planned. That they would find their way because of the way the environment is set up they would find their way and it sounds like i didn't steer you wrong they did exactly what i knew they would do when they got here and you felt safe with them being out correct oh yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. there was no concern can you hear me yeah yeah there was no concern about safety for us or our children it was so refreshing to not say be careful Mm -hmm. it was just Whatever they were doing, they could just do it. And the freedom they felt to just get an Uber and go, to just move and be like, yeah, I went to the club or we went up here to Hard Rock and oh, we did this and that. We tried to go, they tried to go to a college and they realized that you, you can't that just walk on a campus, honey. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. South Africa is not having it. You're just not going to show up on a campus, which is something there, there was different for them because they gone to college and so they they know you just walk on. Yeah. And there they were turned away. And they at first they didn't know how to take it. Like, why can't we come on the campus? Until we went to visit the school, the um is that the high school for our youngest two, and you and it was like Fort Knox trying to get in there and we had an appointment. So yeah, yeah that was um that was an eye opener. And I, I love that. I love that. And, you know, like I said, just the safety, just moving. You don't even think about it. You Mm-mm. don't even think about it. And that, that was, that was so nice. That was so, ah, uh, just breathe. You know, <laughs> you didn't have to be so uptight about how you were moving because you realize, no, 
don't nobody want you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nobody checking for you. I mean, you you just ease right on in. You know, somebody may look like, oh, you're tall. Okay. Yeah. It, it's not a it's not a show stop where nobody's really um pressing you in that way. And I I thought it was so great that they could make connections so easy. Yeah. Here is this work. You know, who who are you? What you do? Yeah. Um, where you where do you live? Because if you don't live in the right area, mm, you can't be my friend. Yeah. Right? There, it it doesn't it didn't matter. It did not matter. And um that that I like. Now for the females, I have to say the guys, oh, he making friends. He made Richard made friends, my son made friends for yeah. females. I feel like we're a little bit more like, mm, hey, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It wasn't like I didn't walk away having a ton of like I, female friends, but I didn't feel like anyone was dismissive of me either. You know, mm -hmm. I just felt like that's that woman thing. Like if you yeah. if I see you again, you'll be my, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it was over. It was, okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was um it was it was other people that came from the states that we ran into along the way. Mm -hmm. Um and so we and Soweto, we we ran into some people that was from um Indianapolis, mm -hmm. um and Soweto, they was um going through and then when we was at the uh, apartheid museum we ran into mm -hmm. um some people there and um was talking to them and stuff like that but um for the most part like our um uh our guide our driver for the um for the safari you know yes i, I talk with him a lot uh, he we you know we got each other's emails and stuff like that and he was like uh he was like um yeah i i said i talked to um to some other zulus and he was like, "Yeah, I can see you being Zulu." He said, <laughs> I, "I," he said, "I see the way you move." He said, "And you move like like the Zulus." He said, "So mm -hmm. I, I think you Zulu." <laughs> so I was like, "I'll take that because we met the Zulu tribes when we went out to the um, what was that? The village. cultural village. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was nice. Yeah, that was really nice. We ate a worm." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad. It was salty, right? Yeah. yeah. It was just it's just yeah. salty. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it was good. Hold on a second. But I, I do want to uh, just shout out Joy Cho. She she decided to 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 give a little love offering. We truly appreciate it for promoting the beautiful country of South Africa. Thanks, Joy. You know, Thanks. on a level in which we can all understand and grasp and say, you know what? I want to come. So I just want to say thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. No, you're good. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, Tasha. So the little ones, the teenagers. How how are how are they? How are they? Mm -hmm. They're good? good. Since they've been back. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to take turns. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Can you can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Um, they're good. My our third, our fourteen, Daniel, fourteen year old. Mm -hmm. He's a little more. He's happy. He's back only because he's had the same friends since maybe oh, like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. in a kindergarten, right? So his. He was upset when we were visiting the school and after we visited the homes and we were talking to the real estate agents about how long it would take to build, if we were interested in building, so on and so forth. It just felt really real for him. And when we had a conversation with him afterwards, it was like, so how did you like the schools? How did you like what you saw? He liked what he saw. He just was sad thinking, oh, I'm going to lose my friends. The, the familiarity yep, yep. of what he knows, right? That going away, that separation. And for one second, Richard and I kind of sympathized with him. 
And then we were like, you know what? This ain't about you. It's about mom and daddy. Yeah, at some point. You kick rocks with that. If we move, <laughs> we just move. And if you want to go back when you're 18, bye. You'll, you'll be okay. It, we just had a really selfish parent moment for a minute. Like we spent mm -hmm. a lot of time thinking about them. He doesn't realize if our decision to move before you finish school, it benefits him as well in ways he doesn't even realize, you know, that opportunity to be international, to go school to school in a, on a, in a totally different continent, country, and be inundated with something besides here. I almost feel like we did a disservice not knowing about this sooner because we could have been like, out of here so that our children don't have to be programmed constantly for prepare for this. Here's before you go outside, when you drive your car, when you just being. Um, so he he loves he loves it. He won't totally admit it. He <laughs> does. But when he got back, he just wanted to go, he went right back into his his routine, you know, one that, can you take me here? Can I do this? My friends want to go there. And I was like, shut up about you and your friends. I don't, care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, I don't care right now. I'm having a moment. Uh, and our daughter, she's bro, she's ready. She's ready to ride wherever she was like, bye here. Whenever mom and daddy say we going to go, she, yeah. she's ready. Yeah. She like she really liked the school. She at first said she didn't want to admit it. Um, but I, mm -hmm. She could she could adjust very well. I just think that the our, our middle that middle child, you know, <laughs> always want to be seen and heard. But they they had a great time. Um, I do love the package that you put together for us. It was so well rounded. You can still hear me, okay, right? Yeah, just okay. Fine. It was so well rounded. Um, just the experience that. We got to have as a family um, and to enjoy that the, the country that in Johannesburg and, and uh, I say, doctor, doctor yes, Blanton, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Blanton, when you <laughs> when you suggested that we stay in one place, you know, like stay in Johannesburg. Do your 10 days there without bopping, you know, moving around and saying Cape Town so that you can get it in. I still when people say on your on your channel, it's not enough time. It literally isn't enough time because you still feel like, oh, there's so much more to see. There's so much more to do, so much more to eat. Yeah. Now, right? <laughs> hello, Mark, and for a minute, because, you know. Y'all are like a TV station for us, right? We, <laughs> it's like Thursday, you know, and NBC here in the U.S., you just get your whole lineup and watch. So I'd be like, we're going to watch the Blantons today. What are they showing on TV? But when people were always talking about the food, I was like, okay, I mean, the food is good. Thank you. What else? Yes. How, why do they keep talking about this food? That's their <laughs> choice. They, 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 I they, uh -uh. No. no, no, no. I'm saying until you go and you eat that food. Now I said, oh, I know why they're talking about the food because we mm -hmm. won't shut up about the food. You understand? Yeah. Me and that ostrich, honey, <laughs> me and that ostrich, we we are at one with each other. I, I, mm -hmm. that, the food. I'm going to be like the people now. <laughs> the food. Hello. It is the presentation, the customer service, the customer mm -hmm. service, it, it is at a level they can't touch. And hold on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, not, not, just because, not just because they are working and, and you're paying them, but yeah. it's just it's just genuine. It's a genuine thing. So when uh we was at Rocco Mamas. Yeah, oh, and, yeah. uh, and that's something yeah. simple. Yes, and that and that was great, you know. Yeah. And, you know, and when he brought the burger, Olivia didn't want sesame seeds. She don't do sesame. Um, so the burger, the bottom of the bun came out with the sesame, had so little sesame on it. And I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe we could just do it. He was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm taking it back and I'll get you the right stuff, right? And yeah. took it back, got the right stuff. I mean, 
the, the customer service that they give you, no matter where you went, uh, we ain't even gonna talk about signatures. Please do. Ah. Please do. <laughs> Please do. Like, we was there in signatures, and and we was there. The live band was playing. Uh huh. You know, I got to go down to the to the the no, wine. Was the grill house. Oh, the, no, was, was it? Grill it was a grill house. house. Oh yeah, it was. Oh, uh, that's another one. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.